Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, I have received a lot of questions asking me what the difference between blocks, containers and elements is. So I decided to shoot a quick video explaining it. Uh, so maybe it helps you when you're designing your own pages. I just wanted to say that uh, when you're starting out and you think, okay, I want to put here text, I want to hear images, it unfortunately doesn't work that way. So you cannot just put in text and, and columns and whatever on the page. The base element of, of every build needs to be a block, either a pre-designed block or an empty block. I'll just start with an empty block over here. So now we put this empty block on and now you can start designing your own pages. Why was that done? So this was done so that you can style the pages as you really would like them to look like. So if you click on, a, on the text part here, you can see that there's a text that is in the container on the block, which means and this is for, for every page, for every build that you will be doing. A block needs to have a container so that you can put things in it. If we delete the text, if we delete the container, you cannot put elements in. It just doesn't work that way. Um, you need to have a block with a container on it. So let's just drop this one in here. So you see, when you click on it, it has a container on a block. This is the basic element. So I'll just quickly demonstrate it here for you. Here we go. So this is our desktop. This is the base. This is an empty page. On an empty page, we need to put the block. Let's imagine that a block will be a piece of paper on our desktop. So we have the block, which needs to have a container. And then in the container, you can either put elements as we did previously. We, we put text elements in. You can put images. You can put forms. You can put uh, whatever you like, icons and logos. Or you can separate the container into multiple columns. I'll show you in this this way. So this is a, uh, this is a block that has a container with one column on it. So you can put elements, texts, images, and things like this into one column. And this is how it would look like on a page. But what you can do is separate the, the whole page, the whole container even more. So you can put multiple columns in. And then you can place your elements on this, in these columns. So this could be used, for example, when you're separating a, a, a page, like for the for your customers, what to do next. Uh, the first column would be used to like our page or uh, visit our Facebook group or send us an email. So you can separate it so that it looks nice and tidy on your page. Um, so there are already pre-made blocks that are separated in columns. For example, this one. This is, let's just delete the, the, the top one. There we go. So what we did here, we have a block, we have a container with columns on it. So this is the same here. So we have a, we have here a block with a container. Here you have a layout 333. That means that you can style this layout as well. If you, for example, want to move all the containers around the same time, you want to to increase the padding of them, or you want to put some margins, or you want to you want to move them around on the page. You can you don't have to do it separately each uh, one by one. You can just take the layout and then move the layout around, or you can just move the container around. I will show you like this. So basically, the rest would stay where they are, and you can just edit this one. And since this is a container, we can put elements on it. So this is a text element in a container. So this is basically the same thing that we did. We put an element in the column. So element in a column that uh, is in a container on the block. So this is the container, and this is the block. This is pretty straightforward, guys. 
Um, let me just show you something like this. This is a pre-designed block. So this block already has uh, elements on it. So this is an element, the text element, which is in a container. You can see the green border is the container, which is on the block. So using this uh, breadcrumb, uh, breadcrumbs, you can see how it goes back and uh, ties back to the block. So just remember, it's very important to know blocks always have to have containers. In the container, you can put elements or you can put more containers or separate them in into columns. So this is it, guys. This is the basic uh, fundamentals of the page building in uh, this Groove Pages app. So I hope you understood what I, I was trying to say. In case you would like to ask me some questions, just put the questions down in the comment below. And then see you in the Groove Digital group. See you. Bye-bye.